Hi guys, it's Matt here from Max on UK, and in this quick start tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at what the animation dots or keyframe buttons are. So, in Cinema 4D, we have a few ways of keyframing things, and I'm going to show you how that works and what they actually mean. So, with my cube created, you can see that we've got these little animation dots um, or keyframe buttons depending on what you want to call them and which version you may or not may you may or may not be using so at the moment they're all gray and this indicates that there is no animation um, for this particular attribute at all if there is one of these little dots it means that you can uh, animate it you can keyframe it anything down from the visible in editor to visible in renderer things to the use of color to its coordinates, you know, object size, even its fong angles and things like that, you can keyframe. So in Cinema 4D, if you've got one of these buttons, you can keyframe it. Now the colors mean a variety of different things as well, and they're also useful little buttons. So if I wanted to keyframe its size on the x-axis, I can press that button. And you can see that it now becomes a red button. This means that there is an animation track okay and a keyframe at this particular point if I was to move my scrubber along you can see that I'm in timeline mode so I'm in the animate layout because I wanted to show you what my timeline is doing you can see that that animation button changes it has now become a red ring this red ring means that there is a keyframe along this timeline somewhere but at the moment there is no keyframed value at that particular point in the timeline where I am so I'm on frame 15 there is no keyframe there like you can see okay so if I was to go back to 0 it is a red dot if I was to go to 15 it is a red circle if I was to change the size of this say if I move it down to 100 so I want it to change size you can see that my animation dot changes color again. Okay, it is now a yellow dot, uh, a yellow ring. Sorry, that would help, wouldn't it? This means that I have changed a value and that there is no keyframe. So the yellow lets you know that I have changed the value, but I have yet to do anything with it. So if I was to decide that this is where I want my keyframe, I press the keyframe button okay the animation button there and it becomes a red dot this again overwrites as you know that there is a keyframe here if I was to scroll back so that now we can see the animation in between it is now a red ring again okay and that lets you know that we have changed uh, that there is a track here but there is no keyframe if I was to go over one of the keyframes and I was to decide actually I want it to say be 150 okay we now have a yellow dot and that yellow dot states that there is a keyframe here but I have changed the value and the value is different to the keyframe so it's letting me know that I've made a change but I haven't yet made it you know a keyframe in order to remember it so if I just click keyframe okay then that would allow me to change that value on that keyframe and if I decide that actually I don't want any keyframes whatsoever then I simply shift click okay and that gets rid of that keyframe for me or if I shift control click that gets rid of all of the keyframes and deletes the animation track completely okay that was just a quick start tutorial for the animation dots in Cinema 4D I hope that was useful for you and I will catch you next time